Hey everyone, Derpy here, back with another Battle Pirates video, and this one is my how to build Nemesis X video. We just got a bunch of new tech that came out in the Forsaken mission, so my build is going to be updated. This is my build for my four regular ships here. My first thing, first weapon I'm going to use here is the Missile Defense System 3 countermeasure. I'm going to have one of these on each of the four regular Nemesis. Now for the other weapons, I'm just going with the missile that came with them, which you can find here if you have the other one you the one that's limited you can also use that but i'm just filling out seven slots with with the assault missile d76x here now as far as specials go this is where it starts gets really interesting my first one i'm using is the one that's going to be in the forsaken mission tier four and that one is the assault it's the it's right here is the assault engine and just just this one just adds extra it just is the standard combat speed and turn speed, but it also adds extra projectile speed, penetrating damage, and penetrating survival, so it helps out adding penetrating survival, which is what I'm going to focus on. The next special here is the limited one that came out. It's the pen penetrative battery. And if you don't have this one, you can just instead use the, uh, use the assault battery instead if you don't have this one. The third special I'm going to be using here on these four backline ships is the Carbon Fiber Charge. This just adds extra reload and extra damage, something we want to maximize in these targets. The next one here is a different one. Instead of using Alloy Armor COM3 or even Alloy Armor COM4, I am instead deciding to go with the limited one that came out with the Manticores, Reinforced Reactive Armor. Now, if you don't have this, just go with Reactive Armor from your research lab, but this adds the most penetrating survival, which is the only damage you should be taking. You should not be taking any corrosive damage if you're driving these targets well. So if you aren't the best driver, you might want to just go ahead and use Allo Armor COM4, but I'm going to go ahead and use Reinforced Reactive Armor, and again, if you don't have that, just go Regular Reactive Armor. Next one is just to help increase damage. It is the special that came out with the Nemesis X. It is the Prometheus Missile System right here. Just helps with missile and anti-missile critical hit damage, all that kind of stuff. The last one here is my range extender. Make sure you have a range extender on your fleet. I'm using advanced optical tracking. There are other ones, even researchable ones, solid fuel booster three you could use instead here. This adds range and importantly, it also adds accuracy, something that's very important for hitting enemy ships. And it also adds retargetable, which allows you to hit underwater ships. So we're almost done here, and now it's just time for the armor. Armor is also kind of interesting. I'm doing something kind of different for most people. So I have two folded ferrite armor. F1 COM increases corrosive and missile defense. Next, I'm using one. D6M. I would use two, maybe consider it, except that I don't want to have to go out and redeem a bunch of them because this one is limited. And for my last armor slot, I'm going to go with the researchable one, or not researchable, you can get it from prizes, it's a blueprint one. It's the Zinth Armor D5 EV. This adds extra evade combat speed and also turn speed. It's going to help drive around the target slightly better. This is my final build for my Nemesis X for the four backline ships. I'm going to switch and show you my build for my actually my Nemesis X flagship now, which has some extra anti-missile stuff going on with it. This one is slightly better with anti-missile, so I'm going to go ahead, instead of using only one missile defense system three, I'm going to add four or five on here. I think my build's just gonna stick with four. You want four of these on here, and you already have the special that boosts anti-missiles on here, but I'm going to go ahead and change out carbon fiber casing, and instead I'm going to put on sonic targeting four, which adds sonar, which helps me just tr show you vid on the videos where ships are on these targets. So I'm gonna have some extra sonar on the flagship. I'll make sure I have both of these hash codes in the description and in the, in the YouTube description, maybe in the comments as well. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like. If it helped you, please let me know. Just write that in the comments below if it helped you or not. I really want to see, see your feedback on all of this. And make sure you share this video with your friends, with your alliance. Help them out if any of them want to build Nemesis X. And as always, this is Derpy signing out, helping you be a better pirate.